You have entered the stronghold of Darth Vader Unlimited. We are celebrating four days under this new name from previously John Bep 426. And here's a little mock-up that I made, you know, it's not a Picasso or a Renoir or a Monet, but I like this. And if you're not a fan of your own work, then you've got more work to do indeed. So I just want to itemize the things on this, I guess you could call it a mural or a poster. So let's go from left to right. In the bottom left hand corner, we see a badge of the 501st Legion known as Vader's Fist, his personal infantry unit. There are words in Arabesh. I don't know Arabesh and I don't plan on learning it unless it becomes vital. When we go up, we see in that left hand corner a Star Destroyer. That is Vader's flagship, the Devastator. It's the same ship that he's pursuing Princess Leia's Corvette in at the beginning of Star Wars. It's also the ship he arrives in in Rogue One. And I believe that's the same Imperial Star Destroyer that he descends and departs from when he arrives on the second Death Star. The Super Star Destroyer is the flagship of the Imperial fleet, but B Vader's personal flagship is that ship, the Devastator. Let's go down, and that figure with the red eyes and the white limbs is a Sith manifestation of the spirit of the dark side of Darth Vader. And that's a newer addition courtesy of Disney but it's one that I appreciate because it really is an expression a manifestation of his evil just embodied in one being and the centerpiece of this mural is a dualistic poster on the left hand side is a drawing that I got from Alex Ross one of my favorite comic book artists I love his realistic style and he paints all of his pictures and on the other half is a rather handsome individual that's me <laughs> the one that runs the channel and that's from an actual picture that I took of me holding a prop lightsaber and in the bottom right hand corner we see the banner Darth Vader Unlimited and that tower is probably not known to a lot of people but that is Bast Castle prior to establishing Vader's fortress on Mustafar this was basically his private sanctuary in the video games Battlefront Elite Squadron and Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. And there are just many levels in that game, Jedi Academy, where Kyle Katarn and Jaden Kaur have to investigate, infiltrate, and basically stop these dark side users, users called the Disciples of Ragnos. So that was Vader's previous sanctuary. It's known as Bast Castle. Now, obviously, since Disney has acquired the rights to Lucasfilm, they'll never use anything Bast in anything that's not MCU related, because that is the name of the Panther God in Black Panther mythology, Bast. And finally, in the upper right hand corner is Darth Vader's TIE Advanced. That's the ship he was shooting down X Wings and Y Wings in, in the original Death Star trench run. I'm probably going to make this my profile picture, even though currently it is the cover picture. So, that is that, and this has my seal of approval.